what you're doing is you're buying a wine about 12 months before it goes into bottle. So you are speculating on A, how the wine is going to evolve, which is quite difficult to do even for professionals, and you're also gambling on the fact that the wine, you hope, will go up in value. What I look for is harmony. So it can be very tannic, but if the tannins don't dominate the fruit, then that's okay. It can be very fruity, but if the fruit isn't too jammy, that's okay. Harmony is, to me, the absolute key. If a wine is unharmonious when it's young, it'll be unharmonious when it's old. So I actually think it's very difficult for, for consumers, or even sort of young people in the trade, to get to grips with tasting en primeur. These wines are not intended. They're intended to be tasted, but not to be drunk. So you have to guess about their future potential, and it's not easy, and I think we all have to be fairly humble about it. And I still believe in the, the old sort of wine trade adage, which is if you really like a wine, you buy one to drink and one to invest. And if your investment doesn't work out, if the wine that you bought goes down 10% in value instead of, as you hoped, going up 30% in value, what the hell? You drink it. You know, you haven't lost very much. My advice for buying wine en primeur, if you don't have a cellar of your own, you will store the wine in bond, and that will cost you 15 pounds a year. If you buy a wine at 150 pounds a case in bond, which will translate to about 18 pounds a bottle once it's paid excess duty and VAT, you're already paying 10% every year on that investment, and there's no way you're going to get that investment back in monetary terms. So you have to bear that in mind. I, my advice to a potential buyer en primeur is never to buy a wine less than 240, 300 pounds a case, unless you actually want to drink the wine. I think your average consumer, average punter, especially as these wines are getting very expensive, should be very wary. You can lose money. Um, you have no title to a wine that you buy en primeur, which means that the company you buy from goes belly up. You can say goodbye to your money because your wine doesn't exist. It's in barrel. It, there isn't a case sitting there you can, with your name on it. It's not the case. So there are pitfalls. I think people need to be aware of that. And this is not something to be undertaken lightly. Well, I think the first thing to remember is that the market is not regulated. Secondly, to buy from a reputable an established company, and thirdly, never to buy from telesales that cold call. If the consumer goes into it buying wines for pleasure, which might also happen to be an investment, then I would advise for it. And the market is always in, in it's always at the moment of correcting itself. So the prices have come down. 2009s remain strong, 2010s are going down in price, 2011s have come out at 25 to 50% below 2010s. The market is an internal process of recorrecting itself. So pay attention to the market. But buy wines for pleasure, not for investment. The primary object of a bottle of wine is to be enjoyed and drunk.